Hello, hello. So in today's video, I'm going to help you optimize your PC and your Roblox. So a lot of you will have been asking me which one's better, Frost Trap or Fish Trap, Voice Trap. Voice Trap is horrible. Do not use Voice Trap. So let's go for Frost Trap. We're going to do the Frost Trap method. First thing you want to do is go to integrations. By the way, if you want to download this all on the Discord, make sure to subscribe before joining the Discord. I have more Discord members. By the way, I am doing a giveaway. If you want to join the giveaway, watch the last video before this. So first thing we want to do is scroll down to specific settings. Where is it? Okay, this one. What you want to do is disable Roblox features. Don't disable this one. It'll break some things. Um, but if you want to test it, go for it. I disabled the recording, disabled the screenshots. Don't really need it. It's from Roblox. So we have the bootstrapper over here. If you have a good CPU, I'd recommend you to put above normal. But I have a pretty, pretty good CPU. I can put it high and have no problems. So overall, I put it high. But for you, try normal and above normal. And if your CPU is bugged, go to below, normal, or low. Try any of these. Test them out. It'll work better. It depends on you. We're going to go for the fast flag settings over here. The fast flags, if you want to add them yourself, you want to put the one X. You want to pause and put that. All of these are turned on. Put this at performance. You want to scroll down. Put this Vulcan and level one. But if you want the full set ready for you, Hop on the Discord server. I got everything ready over here. You can just copy it from here and then leave. Go to Fast Flag Editor, add, add new, import, and add the Fast Flags. All of these. I've added uh, a little more extra. And don't change any of these. These are the good values. I'm going to update them before anything. And that, that should be for the Fast Flags. But we have over here Roblox settings, right? You can like put this at one if you want to join Roblox and the quality is already lowered, but I like more distance. If you increase this, you get more distance like in game. Um, turn this off and make sure this is turned on. You wanna, and the other settings are just really normal. You wanna reduce motion over here. You can um, remove translation. This does help like probably three FPS, not gonna lie. It's not that much. And th that's pretty good settings, right? And then we have the next step. The next step is using exit lag. You want to download exit lag. This is free settings. So this will work for each one. And I'd recommend you to listen closely, right? First thing you want to put reduce input lag. It's just the clicks and all that. Just reduce the, uh, the delay pretty much, you know, maximum performance for games. I don't recommend it. Over here, oh, it says the full thing. If you already have a beast of a machine that runs everything on ultra, you might not even notice the difference, right? But who said you want to save energy? Uh, if you want to save energy, do not use this. Like if you're using a laptop. Over here, I would recommend you to put this on, turn on. Turn this on. I recommend it, actually. This one is not recommended if your goal is to save energy. So make sure if your goal is to save energy because of your laptop, then do not turn it on. Do not. I turn this on personally, and that's all good. If you want ultimate performance, put this on. I highly recommend it, but I'm using a different ultra performance from Corvi, so I'd recommend you to use that. Over here, uh, what is it called? Oh, yeah, RAM cleaner. You can just click clean if your RAM is, like, absolutely not good, you know? It's like you have very low um, RAM amount. I have, like, 32, so I'm good. I don't really need... As you... Uh, cleared half of it holy but it's pretty good right and if you want lower ping i'd recommend you to buy exit lag but also don't recommend it if you have uh, servers next to you so that's all there is to it for these small steps all right and also if you want to download frost trap this is frost trap this is fish trap um you can use whichever of them and before anything right a lot of people don't know the settings about Frost Trap that you can actually select the server. So I'm going to type the strongest battleground or something. And there we go. I can select the region and I can join that region. And it's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie, but you have to put your account in the account manager. I think I made a video. I don't know. Maybe not. 
but yeah there is there is all that if you need any help join the discord server and by the way one last time if you want to enter the giveaway you have to watch the last video before this video i'm gonna end the giveaway in a few days and yeah thank you very much for watching and bye